Welcome guys, this is the first sculpting tutorial I'm posting on this channel, so I'm super excited. Had a lot of fun sculpting this and I'm gonna show every step of the process and talk a little bit about anatomy. So let's begin. The head is basically made of a brain case and the face area including the lower jaw. To create this shape, I'm starting off with a low poly sphere, masking the lower back part in side view and pulling the mesh with uh, the move brush. Then adding a cylinder for the neck and editing its shape like this. This part is for the shoulder radio. Adding a simple cylinder for the ear. It should be at an angle, not parallel. Then just mirror it to the other side. I'm joining all the meshes and voxel remeshing at a low resolution. Then gently brushing over the whole model with smooth brush. I only need three polygroups. The head, ears and neck. This way I can hide any part that gets in the way while I'm sculpting. Now I'm defining the jaw with the clay brush. I'm not pressing the apple pencil very hard. Cutting into this area for the eye socket and clearly defining the side of the head and the face. Ambiguity is overrated anyway. Head has clear side, front and top. This is the cheekbone and the muscle for chewing. Adding the nose, fixing its shape with the move brush, adding volume, cutting into it. At the back, we've got this shoulder muscle and, and another prominent neck muscle. Look at your own neck in the mirror, you will see it. Adding the volume for the chin area, which is protruding. Uh, adding volume for the mouth. Making the upper and lower lip with the crease brush and the move brush. For now, adding this simple volume for the eyes. Now it's time to add some secondary forms. Adding volumes using the clay brush, carving the nostril, I'm only using three brushes, move, clay and crease and occasionally uh, the smooth brush. Less is more. Adding some cheek fat volume and thinking about the directionality of the face muscles while sculpting. Neck was too narrow and needed fixing. Defining the chin and the mouth area gradually. Adding some volume near the corner of the jaw. Looking at the model from different angle is also important. The sculpture needs to look good from every angle. Now I'm paying a bit more attention to the proportion. For the eyes, first I'm drawing the eyelids like this. Uh, 
then I'm masking the area and inverting it and making this area hollow to make room for the eyeballs. Sphere for the eyeballs. X-ray mode is helpful to place them in the right place. Adding volume for the iris and then just mirror. For the ear, first I'm sculpting the major shapes. And then the secondary shapes. Crease brush is perfect for crevices. So knowing anatomy helps. Preconceived notions often hold beginners back from learning anatomy. I've been there myself, but if you learn it in a fun way, it will take your art to next level. I promise. Think about a map or a compass that helps you navigate in a dense forest or at the sea. Without this tool, you will most likely get lost. That's what anatomy is for artists who want to sculpt or paint characters. Masking the general brow area to extract the mess for the eyebrow. Then I'm gently sculpting the eyebrows. I'm thinking about the direction. Using opacity and alpha map for the eyelashes. Masking the scalp area to extract the mess for the hair. Now I'm blocking out the big shapes of the hair mass with the clay brush. They are directed towards the bun. And then breaking up the border of the hair to make it look natural. This is obviously not the final hair. Uh, I will make a separate video on hair. Uh, for the bun, I'm using a simple sphere. Using the new quad remesher add-on and its guide tool, I'm remessing before adding skin details. The topology is pretty good, but not perfect. And, and some areas need to be fixed manually. Uh, but for now, I'm, I'm gonna move on and reproject the, the details from the high polymesh to this new low polymesh with clean topology. And repeat the process a few times. Adding tertiary details to the upper and lower lip with clay and crease brush. For the skin pores and other minor details, I've made five brushes. On a new layer, First, I'm applying some noise to the whole model to break up the evenness, you know. Intensity is pretty low. Now I'm adding wrinkles. Paying attention to the directionality. They're not random. I'm using tons of references. Last thing I'm gonna do is add some skin bumps here and there. So please subscribe if you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, I will see you in the next video.